you might have seen some people who are 55 years old, but they look like they're 35, or vice versa. They're actually 35, but they look like they're 55. I'm old, Gandalf. Are they some kind of vampires, or do they have good genetics? In this video, I'm going to talk about the things that speed up your biological aging, or the things that basically make you older physically. Make sure you click like and subscribe as well for future videos about these kinds of topics. Do it. So here's the difference between chronological age and biological age. Chronological age refers to the amount of time you've been alive in years and decades. It's just a temporal aspect of your life's length. Biological age refers to the condition of your body from the perspective of how well it's functioning as an entire organism and how healthy it is. The difference between them is that how long you're going to live for is predominantly determined by your biological age. This is affected mostly by your lifestyle habits and environment, or what's called epigenetics, that all influence the speed at which you age. It's thought that your overall longevity depends on 20% genetics and 80% epigenetics. Before I tell you the things that speed up your biological aging, I will also go through what is biological age in a sense, and how do you measure it with the DNA methylation clock. In 2013, a professor of human genetics and biostatics at UCLA, Steve Horvath, developed the first multi-tissue epigenetic clock called the Horvath's clock. He used DNA methylation data to accurately predict age. Horvath hypothesized that DNA methylation age measures the status of a person's epigenetic maintenance system. As we age, our DNA methylation profiles get altered, which is one of the hallmarks of aging. Studies using Horvath's clock have found an association between age-related diseases like cancer, Alzheimer's, and osteoarthritis with accelerated epigenetics. Studies on over 41,000 participants have found that each 5-year increase in DNA methylation age was associated with an 8-15% to increased risk of mortality. <gasps> Basically, biological aging happens as a result of this cumulative damage that occurs over the course of your lifetime, and that is also going to alter the DNA methylation uh, profiles. And as a result of that, your body is going to basically detect this different kinds of information as an epigenetic signal from the environment that is going to change the healthy functioning of your system. And you're not going to be able to stay healthy that well because your all the systems begin to work improperly and they go off rails, if that makes sense. So here are the biggest things that speed up biological aging by dysregulating this DNA methylation process. Number 1. Circadian rhythm mismatches and shift work. DNA methylation has a 24-hour rhythm or a circadian rhythm that drives gene expression in the prefrontal cortex. Improper DNA methylation patterns have been associated with circadian rhythm disruption and high blood sugar levels. Circadian rhythm mismatches increase the risk of many diseases like Alzheimer's, obesity, hypertension and cardiovascular disease. Shift work is also a carcinogen that has been seen to promote cancer risk. A 2015 study found that women who worked rotating night shift for more than 5 years were 11% more likely to die early. Basically, circadian rhythm mismatches mess up the DNA methylation clock, which impairs the body's healthy process at least for a short while. This results in down-regulation of the longevity pathways that are all linked to the circadian rhythms, such as sirtuins and NAD+. Sirtuins and NAD+, also affect DNA methylation positively. So, circadian rhythm mismatches lead to low NAD, which causes poor DNA methylation, and that accelerates biological aging. SUCKS! One way of raising NAD levels is through supplementing its precursor like NMN or nicotinamide riboside. I'm taking NMN by Do Not Age, and it's one of the most effective ways of doing so. You can get a 5% discount by using the code SEAM at donotage.org. Number 2. Chronic Inflammation One of the main consumers of NAD is inflammation through the overactivity of an NAD-consuming enzyme called CD38. Tissues exposed to inflammation will begin to exhibit improper DNA methylation, which is a mechanism that mediates the effects of inflammation on cancer development. Inflammation can also alter DNA methylation in a way that promotes tumorigenesis. Basically, inflammation will speed up biological aging by messing up DNA methylation and depleting NAD. Number 3. Overeating and Obesity DNA methylation is altered in patients of obesity, contributing to metabolic syndrome and diabetes. Diabetes and metabolic syndrome are thought to shorten average lifespan by 5-10 to 10 years. Being overweight and eating too much also promote inflammation and deplete NAD. DNA methylation has been shown to determine your risk for obesity, and maternal obesity influences the obesity genes of the child as well. This means that your current lifestyle, your epigenetics, will affect the gene expression and DNA methylation of your offspring. Diabetes. Number 4. Chronic Sleep Deprivation Sleep deprivation works similarly to circadian rhythm mismatches in reducing NAD and altering DNA methylation. Insufficient sleep has been seen to create a distinct DNA methylation pattern that reduces DNA methylation and upregulates genes of neurodegeneration. Poor sleep also increases risk for obesity, diabetes, and raises inflammation. Number 5. Smoking 
Smoking raises inflammation and increases risk of many diseases like heart disease and cancer. It also changes DNA methylation patterns in a way that upregulates inflammatory pathways. The increased oxidative stress from smoking speeds up aging of your physical looks as well by damaging the skin and collagen scaffolding that is making you look young. Smoking promotes the development of wrinkles both because of the physical damage the skin experiences but also because of the increased epigenetic aging from the altered DNA methylation and increased inflammation. Everything you do on a daily basis is sending a particular signal to your body and based upon that signal your body is going to basically conduct different kinds of processes whether it's going to be healthy processes or unhealthy processes and all those things are going to determine the speed the, the speed of your biological aging. If you want to know how to optimize your circadian rhythms and sleep wake cycles for proper energy metabolism and circadian alignment, then check out my total sleep optimization video course. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click a like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.